Hi, this is Jesse from Peach Manifesto, and uh, I decided to give a little swatch review of the Accents Options Ice Collection. Now, I don't have all the colors in the collection. I am missing the Ice Lime and the Ice Blue, but I felt like they were a little too close to two of the other colors in the collection, so I didn't buy them. And here is just a little close-up shot of the colors. Um, even some of the ones I have, I feel, are a little close to each other, and I will show you that in the swatch portion. Portion, sorry. And um, I'm not going to do like a, I would say, a traditional swatch. Um, I'm just going to swatch these on a white tile. I do have these all swatched and ringed, so I really didn't want to re-swatch them on on nail pops, um, but I thought this would give a pretty good um, idea. So I started off with white and now I'm on silk. And uh, just to give you an idea, those are the kind of the different tones. And then we have <clears throat> Latte. And uh, I love these are very shimmery and uh, I've kind of built the collection up over a little bit. And this is Ice Pink and my brush falls apart, sorry. Uh, you sometimes have to squeeze those caps to get them a little bit tighter. Now the latte and the pink are pretty like close in color wise, and same with um, apricot. They're all kind of almost in the same family. Um, the latte is a little bit more goldy nude. Um, the pink obviously is a bit more pink, and the apricot is a little bit more uh, orangey. But you can kind of tell, I kind of wanted to put them all close together just to show you that they're they're kind of all really in a close color family. And then we have the Ice Turquoise. Um, this one is super beautiful. I really do love those like kind of turquoise teal colors. They're really popular in my salon. Now I thought I would show you this with the purple. Um, I don't know if it's just my pot, um, but I had stirred these all up yesterday when I filmed kind of the video of them all together. And I really didn't even need to stir any of them except for the purple. And then when I was swatching them this day, um, it had only been maybe like 10 hours and then it had already settled to the bottom. And that only seems to be with the ice violet. Um, none of the other ones seem to do that. So I'm not sure if it's just my pot, if it was a formula issue or whatever, but it does that. So I thought I'd let you know. And this is Options Ice Marine. Now there is an ice blue, but I just feel like it's just a bit paler and I really wasn't interested in getting that. And same with the turquoise and the lime. The lime felt like it was really close in in color to the turquoise so I didn't get that one either and then this is the ice charcoal now I decided to go back over with the latte and the apricot just to make them a little bit thicker just to see like just to show um, a little bit more true of a color because you would use a bit more than what I've swatched on the tile here, um, just to build the color up a little bit more to give you a more truer representation of the colors side by side. As I thought these ones were kind of really similar, especially like there now you can see a bit better where it is a bit more bronzy colored with the apricot and more of like a, a nude or like a champagne and gold with the latte. One thing that I love doing with these colors is using them for a fade, um, like kind of like baby boomer style fade. Um, I just think that they transition really nice together. Um, they just blend so well and uh, you can pretty much just blend them into like just the finest little bit of shimmer sparkle. And uh, I just thought I would go through and show that and of course I had to wipe off the apricot by the latte so that I could properly show you that one um, and I'll kind of give you a little twist in the light just to show you like how fine it does go out to basically nothing um, but it just makes for a really good um, fade on the nail and I guess I forgot to record the first part of this but I basically just took ice coral and uh, faded it down the top of the nail and I'm doing the exact same thing with the ice turquoise um, so there's really no difference in how I did it I kind of just um, bulked up one end um, and then 
faded it down and then I would take my uh, ombre brush and um, fade the rest through to bring it up and I will just let you watch that. So after curing that, I like to go in with just a little bit of the ice coral and just go over top of it just so it gives a little bit more of a seamless blend. And this is it all top coated. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you later. Bye.